I am Poor Scientist 7 and welcome to another Polycore video for Destiny 2. It's now time for another weekly splicer quest. Uh, let's see, Path of the Splicer 5, I believe it's called this week. So, uh, if you hear some noise in the background, have family over, a, ne a nephew, three, and I saw he comes banging at the door. Uh, sorry about that. So, and there's some background noise that I can't, we have a storm going on, so can't get that out of here. So let's uh, head on over to the tower. Uh, let's see, the helm, I believe. And head over to the splicer server. Yeah. Let's see, I hope everyone's had a good uh, June 8th so far. Uh, I got off work early for me, so this is great. I oh, greet you like right. the light, my friend. There have been no more attacks from inside the walls. I spoke my heart words. To all who would hear, we have no anger within us. We will not be led to violence, no matter how wide the path. We now must focus on the Vex. The machines do not stop to consider our situation, and neither should you. I can still improve your gauntlet, and your splicer training must continue. Do not waste your energies on us. My elixir have been through much, but cruel words and thoughtless deeds will not break us. Let us continue our work. All right. So, uh, you know, first quest have get, gather ether, make a key. I already have it done. So, time to head on over to the override mission which is the next quest step and this one is located on the moon so yeah the moon one who the giant minotaur so go on and load in that mission people uh, once you're loaded in you know what to do run with your fire team over to the um, conflux or no wait is it a conflux I want to say it's a conflux go over there get the mission started all right, and once you start the mission, you know, do what you do, and kill enemies, pick up modes, and then go ahead and bang. Hack the spire, uh, like always, you know, finish up hacking, hack up the spire, break down the barrier to the domain, and jump right in, and get ready to run. A lot of this dialogue is some of the same from last week, so or the weeks before. So uh, make your way to the boss, kill him, do the phases, get some kills while you're at it. I'm still working on the fusion rifle kills and override and expunge missions. Boss is dead now, and then head over and pick up your chest, complex chest, to get the next portion of the mission. Which the next mission today is the ex an expunge mission called Tartarus. Uh, I thought that was a great name. It's not that bad. So the Tartarus mission is located on Europa, I believe. So head over there and get it started. Once you're in the Tartarus mission, it's the same little beginning uh, bit where you have to run through so honestly it's not that uh, much of a difference than usual so just head over to the door they say this is easy it's actually a little confusing so just make your way through the mission get to the boss I'm not gonna really do much on the expunge mission it took me almost 20 minutes to do because I honestly brand new did not know what I was doing so go ahead, make your way all the way to the boss fight. Um, destroy the complexes and stuff like, or these little cube things to knock his barrier off, and then you can damage him and kill him. It's actually a very easy mission. We succeed for a Once you kill him, and yet nothing has changed with the endless night. Why is that, Mithra? Go to Saint Fourteen. Each time the Guardian destroys a Vex mind in control of a domain, the remaining Vex carry the leftover burden. And how many of these minds do you think are left to share that burden? That 
is unclear. Then we should focus our efforts on finding the central Vex mind guiding them. Osiris, how is that coming along? Slowly. Naxmi and Mithrax's splicers are diligently working with data the Guardian has recovered. But the Vex mind at the source of the Endless Night remains elusive. We need to move quickly. The simulation is draining the city's energy. I won't stand by and watch our lightless civilians continue to suffer. Nikora, I don't intend to let that happen. We will work harder. We will find a way. The light provides. And that is it. Next place you gotta go is Saint 14. Woohoo. Uh, Alright, so. We're just gonna head over to Saint. And pop all over onto it. Hey, Saint. I have and told let's see what you get. Mithras's story. We do monstrous things fight monsters. It seems simple. When the city first formed, titans were the wall. We did not think of our enemies as a problem. We thought only of protecting our people. Survival until the next day, no matter how. But the fear, the terror, the destroyer, Kenora, Children tremble in fear at my name. I mourn what I have taken from them. This is not the Saint 14 I know. I can never forgive what the old houses did to us. But these are not the old houses. They are dead. What do we gain from more death? This lashing out against senseless people. It is the act of a coward. Mithrax risked much to trust us. If his house of light can forgive him, perhaps we must try to see the fallen. The elixir. As they see themselves. For none of us will ever be anything but monsters. We must be more than the enemies of our enemy. And with that, we just pick up this next part right here. And it's off to the splicer server. Everything, this is actually very easy. Um, I don't know if there's anything new out this week. I'm going to be... If, if any, any new kind of quest or anything else pops up, I'm going to be making a video on that. But as far as I know, there isn't anything new. So we're going to head on over to the helm real quick. And make our way to the Splicer Servitor in a second here. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, so let's head over there. And what? Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a uh, thing on the radar. If you actually see right there on the up left hand corner, you actually can spot it. You can listen to this last, or you can listen to it first. Um, it's like one of those transmissions. Humanity will not allow these hateful and ignorant acts to define us. We will prove it by bringing those responsible to justice. Walk the path of hardship with joy in your hearts. Be brave. 
That's a good speech. All right, so once you're done there, uh, you head over to the Splicer Servitor. Go listen to I the see you have all along. come to Vex again. We are both doing what we must. I have not spoken with the saint, but I believe hearing my story softened him somehow. I saw one of our young run across his path. The saint raised a hand in greeting, and the hatchling recoiled and fled. The saint watched it run. The reaction seemed to wound him. I will reach out to this child. She acted out of fear and was unkind. She should know the image of the saint we use to chase evil is only a story. If we are to survive this long night, we must be able to see one another as what we truly are. Alright, and that is the end of this week's Path of the Splicer mission. I would, I would appreciate, um, no, I appreciate everyone who watched the video today. <laughs> And, um, I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, this week was actually pretty fun for me, so. Thank you once more, and I hope you all will join me next week. So, I, I'm, I'm, these videos are mainly just for the story and for the dialogue. I want to, I guess, catalog, um, catalog the story for this season. And I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, subscribe. We have a Discord link down below. And I will see you next week, everyone. And bye-bye.